Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have a square minus b square equals to 5 and a b equals to 6. So here we need to solve this problem for the real values of a and b. So here you remember one thing is that we solve this problem for the real values. So first we call this e as equation number 1 and we call this as equation number 2. So here we uh, solve these two equations and we get the values of a and b so first we focus on equation number two so our equation number two implies that here we move this a to the right hand side and we get our b equals to six over a and we call this as equation number three so we substitute the value of b in equation number one and we further solve this equation so here uh, equation number one implies that this is a square minus b square so the value of b is 6 over a so it will become 6 over a square equals to 5 so now here uh, we simplify this equation and we write it into standard form so we have a square minus we know that the square of 6 is 36 and the square of a is a square equals to 5. So in the next step uh, we need to multiply both of the sides by a square. Okay. We multiply a square on both of the sides. So uh, we write it as a square multiplied by a square minus a square multiplied by 36 over a square equals to a square multiplied by 5. So in the next step we need some simplifications and we know that a square multiplied by a square equals to a to the power of 4 minus this a square is cancelled out by this a square and we get 36 equals to a square multiplied by 5 written as 5 a square. So now we rearrange this equation and we move this 5 a square in the left hand side. It will be written as a to the power of 4 minus 5 a square minus 36 equals to 0. So now we rewrite this equation as we have a to the power of 4 and we write it as a square and its whole square minus 5 times of a square minus 36 equals to 0. So you see here this equation will become quadratic in a square variable. So that uh, first we convert into the a single simple variable. So here we just take y equals to a square so where a here we put this a square equals to y so when we substitute this value uh, to the above equation it will be written as y square minus 5y minus 36 equals to 0 so this equation will becomes a standard quadratic equation so now uh, we easily solve this quadratic equation by making the factors of this equation so here we break the middle term so our middle term is minus 5y and we write it as minus 9y plus 4y because minus 9 plus 4 becomes minus 5 and this minus 36 equals to 0 so now you see here we have y be the common from first two term and we take common 4 from the next two terms and we write it as y times of y minus 9 plus here we take common 4 and we get y minus 9 equals to 0. So in the next step we take common y minus 9 and we get y plus 4 equals to 0. So here we have two cases. The first case is we write 
y minus 9 equals to 0 and the second case is we write y plus 4 equals to 0. So now in the first case we easily get the value of y it is y equals to 9 and in that case we get the value of y equals to minus 4. So here we back substitute the value of y and you see here we have y equals to a square so we put this value of y on both of these cases so that we get here over y equals to 9 so it will we substitute the value of y here and it will be written as a square equals to 9 and in this case we have a square equals to minus 4. So now first we find the value of a so that here we need to take the square root on both of the sides on both of these two cases okay so here you see that this two and square root are gone and we get a equals to plus minus three and similarly in this case this two and square root are gone and we get here a equals to uh, the square root of four is two and the square root of minus one is iota so this is plus minus iota so uh, i will uh, tell us in the start of the problem is that we need only real roots so you see here this is complex root so that we rejected this case and we will just proceed here this case only and in this case uh, we further divide this in two parts so first we write the positive value so a equals to plus 3 and here we write the negative value so a equals to minus 3 so now uh, here we need uh, equation number 3 so you see here this is the equation number 3 in which we have b equals to 6 over a so now first here we copy down this equation number 3 so that here we just copy down equation number 3 or equation number 3 implies that b equals to 6 over a so this is our equation number 3 so now we solve we find the value b from these two values of a so here we have our b equals to 6 over a and the value of a is 3 so you get 3 to the 6 and we have b equals to 2 so this is the value of b when we have the value of a is 3 so here we have the first solution of the given question is a b equals to <clears throat> 3 into 2 <clears throat> so in this case uh, we substitute this value of a here and we get b equals to 6 over a so the value of a is minus 3 and we get b equals to 3 to the 6 and it is minus 2 so this is the value of b when we have the value of a is minus 3 so we have the second solution of this question is a b equals to minus 3 minus 2 so these are the two solutions of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos